But we have a shield now, as was recommended by the tooltip, and we will equip our shield and learn things that I've already been doing. <laughs> Inventory management. LB with left shield equipped is to guard. Very important skill indeed. I did equip the thing, right? Okay, good. And we hit the left directional button to equip our shield, as so. And suddenly this archer is a lot less intimidating, as he knows we have a shield and he is running the fuck away, as he should be doing. But now we have the almighty hand axe. We have no more need for this stupid piece of crap broken hilt. And this guy is gonna have to get on our level. Hey! Hey! Quit shooting! Hey! No! No! Bad zombie. Okay. Onward. Fog wall. One does not know what is on the other side of a fog wall. Sometimes it might be a boss, sometimes it might be absolutely nothing, as it was in this case. We will discover as we go. Let's keep looking around. We can't get up that ruined bit of stairs. It's kind, of, it's kind of funny, actually. Um, the game will lag for me, but I look over at the recording and I don't see any dip because the recording's automatically doing 30 frames per second anyway. So I guess that's a good thing because you guys won't notice the frame rate drops as much as I will. And it appears here we have... Well, it's just a wall, isn't it? Hmm. Well, let's see, we have a down way we can go, so let's go down. Open this door. It has been a while since I played this game, actually, so I don't remember literally everything. I need to remind you I'm not an expert. Okay, and the only place we haven't gone is up. But I see something up there. Is that a rock? It appears very rolly. Oh, it's coming right at us! Woo! Lucky us for observing things and knowing when to run out of the way. And oh dear, it's that knight from earlier that rescued us from our cell. What does he have to say? Oh, you. You're no hollow. Thank goodness. I'm done for, I'm afraid. I'll die soon. Then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I are both undead. Hear me out, will you? What is your decision? No! Fuck you, Oscar! His name's Oscar, by the way. Yes, we're going to listen to him. Regrettably, I have failed in my mission. But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen. In thine exodus from the undead asylum, make it pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know. And I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask, an undead favorite. Estus flask. Oh, and this. Undead asylum floor two east key. Now I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. So go now, and thank you. You're welcome, Oscar. For releasing me from my captivity, I will gladly take on your quest. Rested Monfire replenished Estus Flask. The Estus Flask allows us to heal approximately five times. Very important number. And we can go ahead and take a sip. And we can stop this bonfire. To replenish it back up to five. But yes, Mr. Oscar. His family passed down that legend. And we might suppose that he came to the Undead Asylum in the first place to pursue the prophecy, so to speak, which means he was here to find us and hopefully fulfill this prophecy, um, which seems like a good idea, seems like a decent prophecy to be fulfilled, so we might as well go ahead and get on with it and see what we can do about it. So let's just continue our way through the asylum, shall we? Shall we? Good. Okay. Read this message. Press the Y button to wield the right weapon two-handed, like so. This increases the damage, but makes it so you can't block 
Well, I mean, can't block with your offhand weapon, you can still block using the weapon, which isn't recommended in most cases. Left stick B to kick, left stick RT to jump attack. Um, let's do a little bit of practice on this. Th these two moves are rather tricky. You have to keep in mind that these two have to be pressed at the same time. So in order to do our jump attack, we have to go huh, like that. And in order to do our kick, we need to go like that. Pressing the buttons at the same time, not one after the other, because otherwise you'll just do nothing. And you have to have very good coordination with both hands in order to be able to do those two abilities. The kick is very important to master early on. And we pillage the corpse and get a pyromancy flame. A very good item for us as it allows us to cast pyromancies. And we will equip the pyromancy flame in our offhand. And be able to cast spells now. As we have the fireball spell selected, we can switch to our pyromancy flame and be able to cast that. It is good. Alright. Let's take out this here Zomble. Hey, Mr. Zomble. Ow, he hit me. Ow, stop that. Your wide swinging is pissing me off, sir. Silly Zomble. Hey. No. Also, this game runs off the Havoc engine, one of my favorite game engines, period. It comes from... Well, it doesn't really come from, but it was used in Halo 2, which was one of my favorite games in high school. And thusly, all the ragdoll effects are very familiar to me. I do so love the Havoc engine. That made me love this game a lot more than anything else. We have two notes here. With, source, with Sorcery Flame equipped, RB to use Pyromancy and press blah to change pyromancies. RB while falling to do a plunging attack, which is a staggering amount of damage, and we will demonstrate that shortly. But first, we have more things to learn. All of these are so important to see. I, I don't understand why you would miss over them. RB behind an enemy to do a critical hit. LT parry to re repel an enemy attack. Okay, well, let's try doing that. Um, hopefully I won't die. That would be very sad. Okay. This guy's gonna come at us, and as he's attacking, we can block some of his attacks. We can also get behind him and do a critical hit, like so. Get down on the ground, sir. Alright, now come back up, and let's see if we can perform this parry action. Oh, oh god! Or maybe he can just kill me. The enemies also have Estus flasks, as you might notice. Kind of a cool thing that you feel like you're on a level playing field with most of these undead. Okay, and... Oh, nope, too early. Too early. I will get a parry on you, I swear. Oh, no! Oh, 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 God. Please don't, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. I'm just, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to show the fans. I'm trying to show the fans. Okay. Okay, okay, we can do this. We, I, I'm gonna parry him. It's gonna happen. Damn it, too early! <laughs> God! I suck ass at this game. If he would do the, like, swish and not the plunge, I could do it. Okay, 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 come on. Come here. Just just do this one thing for me, okay? Just... Damn it! I don't trust my health being that low. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on. Um... And... Damn it! Oh, God! He's gonna kill me, isn't he? He's gonna, he's gonna freaking kill me. One of the first enemies in the damn game. There we go, yes! Fuck you! Fuck you! That was down to the wire. <laughs> Shit. Oh my god, I'm almost out of Estus flasks. So like the coward and pussy I am, I'm going to run all the way back to the bonfire to replenish all five of them. Because fuck doing the next thing we have to do with no Estus Flasks and, like, two points of health. I'm not that good, okay? Don't look at me like that. Shush. Let's just get on with it. Oh my god. Okay, let's two-hand our weapon and just carve up. Nope! Okay, well, almost died there from falling damage. That would have been awesome. Let's just, uh, like I was saying, carve, carve a path through through enemies. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm trying to lock onto you there. Come on. 
Okay, maybe we can do a jumping attack. Nope, wrong button. 